So this is going to be the last bit of coordinate geometry. Um, we're going to talk about the centers of triangles in this bit. So you might think there might only be one center of a triangle, kind of like a circle or a square, but there are actually hundreds of them. There's a big book called the Encyclopedia of Triangle Centers. So we're not going to get into that, as interesting as it does sound. Um, there actually is one center of a triangle that's named after Napoleon Bonaparte. So that's kind of funny. But anyway, we're going to look at these four here because that's what you need for the leaving cert. So you need to know the centroid, the circumcenter, the incenter, and the orthocenter. So you need to know what they are, how to find them, and what they do, basically. So look at the centroid first. So the centroid, if you have a triangle set up like this, with x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3, then you can find the centroid pretty easily by just sticking it into this big formula. So x1 plus x2 plus x3, all divided by 3, and y1 plus y2 plus y3, all divided by 3. Uh, if you don't have it in coordinate form, then the way to do it is you have to go, you have to draw a line from each corner to the midpoint of the opposite side. So this point here is going to be the midpoint between this and this. This is the midpoint between this and this. And this is the midpoint between this and this. Okay, it's from x1, y1, x2, y2. So if you draw a line from each corner to each of those midpoints, where that line meets in the middle, like we have drawn on the diagram here, that's the centroid. Okay, so you can do it like that. Um, if you don't have all the coordinates. Another thing you need to know about the centroid is that it divides each line through the middle in the ratio of 2 to 1. So what that means here is this bit here, this line here, straight line through the middle, is divided up into the ratio of 2 to 1. Okay, So that's just one of the pieces of information you need to know about the centroid. So we'll go on now to the circumcenter. Okay. So this is called the, the circumcenter, number two. I don't have them all uh, named and numbered, but they're up there. So the circumcenter, um, the way to find it, there's no nice formula like there is up here. You have to find it just by kind of either construction or by, you can do this with uh, actual coordinate geometry as well. So you have to find the perpendicular bisector of each side. So what does that mean? So the perpendicular bisector is uh, the line that goes through the middle. So say this is our line here. This is gonna be our center point and the perpendicular line that goes through the center point, okay? So this red line here is perpendicular to the green one, and it goes to the center point, and the same with these red lines here that I'm just tracing along the blue ones that I did earlier, okay? Center points, and it's perpendicular to them, uh, so it should be perfectly perpendicular. Obviously, my drawing again isn't perfect. And then the center point where they all meet, that's called the circumcenter, okay? Um, and the cool thing about that is it's the center of a circle that touches each corner, so it perfectly goes around the outside of a triangle. So the way to remember that is think of circumference of a circle is around the outside. So the circumcenter of a triangle um, makes that circle with the circumference maybe. That's what the way I used to remember it anyway. Um, so that's that interesting bit of a triangle. Then we have number three, the in-center, okay? And the way you get the in-center is, I'll draw it out quickly. So I scribbled it onto the triangle there. The diagram gets a little bit messy when you try to include all of it, but it's the bisector of each angle, okay? So it's the line that cuts that angle perfectly in half, and it's when you extend that and you keep extending it and you do it for the other two as well, wherever they all meet, you get the in-center of a triangle. And the in-center, if you draw a, little, a circle around that, uh, it'll fit perfectly inside the triangle and it'll touch each of the sides, okay? So that's the cool thing about the in-center you need to know. The last one then is the orthocenter, okay? So the orthocenter, what you have to do is, as it's written here, is draw a perpendicular line from each corner to the opposite side, okay? So say we this is one side, we have to draw a perpendicular line from here to the opposite side. So let's say that's a perpendicular line. Then from this one here, we have to draw a perpendicular line, which is gonna be like that maybe. And then from here, we have to draw a perpendicular line, which will, of course, they'll all meet. So that's perpendicular, that's perpendicular, and that is perpendicular. So there is our orthocenter of the triangle, okay? So you need to know all of those things because they can all come up in the exam, and I've started asking recently um, about these triangle centers for some reason. But anyway, so uh, if they start asking about it, you need to know it. Um, and yeah, so I'm not gonna go through all of the coordinate geometry of each one, but if you know perpendicular line from each corner to the opposite side, you'll be able to figure out exactly what the coordinates of that line are, because they'll give you this coordinate, um, and then you'll be able to find the orthocenter, okay? And they don't ask as simply as find the orthocenter, but as long as you understand what it is, 
uh, you'll get away with it. So I think that's all we have for coordinate geometry at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed that so far. Um, there'll be some links at the end of this video so you can either like and subscribe to the channel, uh, comment if you have any questions or if you want us to do any particular exam question or what, what you want us to do next. Uh, and if not, then click onto some of other playlists so you can look at things like calculus, complex numbers, um, and algebra and things like that. So again, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time uh, for Exam Learns videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe.